Herman Kahn was a 20th century futurist who was known for analyzing the likely consequences of nuclear war. He was first known for his work as an American military strategist and systems theorist for the RAND Corporation. What book Kahn co-wrote with B. Brutch Briggs is Things to Come, Thinking About the 70s and 80s. One important chapter entitled 1985 Technological Crisis, The Social Effects of Technology, presents the potential danger of fear of technological process, or his term, disillusionment with progress. Kahn does not say this is going to happen indefinitely, but believes it will occur sometime in the remainder of the 20th century. Here, Kahn lists aspects of social life he believes is threatened by technology. Some will be discussed and put within their own historical context. Three important ones are aspects of privacy, which Kahn believed could be under threat from improved communications technology, contamination of the environment from development of larger aircraft, and dangerous technology, which he defines as nuclear missiles and their potential consequences. The general context Kahn was writing in was during the 1970s, when the middle class, who historically had been for technological process, were now against this technological process. Two reasons for this would be the, the stockpiling of nuclear weapons and also the start of the environmental movement. Kahn believed some aspects of privacy, such as free will and the right to withhold information, would be under threat by technology. He used the example of Louis XIV, King of France, who was an absolute monarch but he could not govern effectively anyone beyond immediately immediate control because of lack of communications technology. On the other hand, the current President of the United States, Richard Nixon, could pick up the telephone at any time and obtain information on any American citizen he chose within a few minutes. Hunt's book was published when more powerful computers and the Internet was developing one fear Kahn had with the development of com the computer is computerized records and would allow for even faster access of records than what could have been done with the telephone. And his main concern was if the president would use it to good use or not. Kahn's fear is not the technology, but what humans would do if, with the power if they had this technology. Or in other words, he's providing the reader with a warning that technology could be misused, and the more advanced it is, the more its potential ramifications would be. Two factors Kahn predicted would lead to the contamination of the environment would be shockwaves from supersonic jets and million pound airplanes. Kahn wrote this a few years after two famous airplanes made their first flights. These planes were the Concorde and the Boeing 747, which both made their first flights in 1969. Concorde was the world's first, and to date, only supersonic passenger airliner, and the Boeing 747 was the, the world's then largest airliner. The Boeing 747 was the world's largest airliner until the introduction of the Airbus A380 in 2003. During the 1960s and 1970s, was a period when airplanes were gradually becoming heavier. The Boeing 707 was a plane developed in 1958. It had a gross weight of 338,000 pounds. By 1969, when the Boeing 747 was introduced, its maximum weight was 735,000 pounds. In a period of 12 years, technology had advanced where airplanes were able to double in mass. What Kahn means by dangerous technology is the development of nuclear weapons. One consequence of the technological and material process is the proliferation of weapons of mass destruction, such as nuclear weapons. Kahn did his futurology and other projects during the Cold War. A dangerous political issue Kahn outlines is internal politics affected by nuclear missiles. 
One event which influenced this prediction would be the Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962, which occurred 10 years before Khan wrote his book. Other wars have been started by political events, such as the First and Second World Wars, but the only difference between then and the time Herman Kahn was writing in was that the total annihilation of the world was possible in a single nuclear attack. One theme from class Herman Kahn relates to is anti-modernism. Kahn predicts new technology would create new problems or add to existing problems, such as nuclear weapons, which in international consequences would be the result, similar to the Cuban Missile Crisis. Kahn relates to George Orwell because both were anti-modernists because they fear technology would be abused, but Kahn wouldn't have gone as far as Orwell with 1984. The chapter in Kahn's book, The 1985 Technological Crisis, demonstrates Kahn feared the potential danger of advanced technology. These were advanced communication technologies, such as the internet and computerized records. Kahn also fears advanced technology would destroy the environment, such as bigger airliners, which would require more fuel to operate. And he also f can relates to certain course themes and George Orwell.